Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, this is going to be a little mini one-off episode uh, talking about Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver, of course, is not going to be a member of the 2018 NFL Draft class because he is a sophomore. But, but, I had to get this video out there uh, because after compiling all the production data on all the defensive tackles, and I just threw him in here because he did so well as a freshman, I just wanted to throw in his sophomore season. I just wanted to make this video to remind you guys of just how good Ed Oliver is and why he should be considered one of the top uh, defensive tackle prospects next year, if not one of the best players in the 2019 NFL draft class based on his overall data. Now, we're going to be looking at production data, and specifically market share data. So I'm going to leave uh, a term, you know, all terms and definitions are going to be in the description. So if you're not familiar with market share data and all the other kind of stuff, I'm going to have it there. But a simple explanation is defensive market share data is where you take an individual defensive statistic and you divide it by the team total statistics. So if a defensive tackle has, say, 50 solo tackles on a team that has 500 solo tackles, then that defensive tackle has 10% solo tackle market share. Uh, but what you do with that number is you take that, that, that market share data and you compare it to every single defensive tackle performance since the 1989 NFL draft class, and then boom, you have a way to compare um, how this player performs versus this other player, so on and so forth, um, where the all-pro players performed, how the Pro Bowl players performed, and then, you know, go from there. And looking at Al Ed Oliver's uh, production profile, which is right here, uh, Ed Oliver is pretty much ticking all the boxes off of a multiple all-pro defensive tackle. Um, has a 98.04 solo tackle market share score, has a 87.46 sack market share score, and a 99 uh, 0.51 tackle for loss market share score. So every single data point, every single production standpoint, solo tackle data, sack data, TFL data, checks all the boxes off. Just demolishes the boxes because that's the thing about defensive tackles. They don't necessarily need to have very high sack market share or very high tackle for loss market share, and he's killing it in both those areas as well. So it's safe to say at this point, based on his profile, based on his data, that the hype is real. Um, he's going to be one of those types of defensive tackle prospects or defensive line prospects in general, like a Miles Garrett, like a Joey Bosa, like a Jadavian Clowney. You know, th those were guys in particular who had this type of production profile. Obviously not a defensive tackle, but they had it at the edge position. And... None of the edge players that I've seen thus far have a Joey Bosa or a Miles Garrett or a uh, or a Jadavian Clowney like profile coming into the year, but Ed Oliver at the defensive tackle position does have that type of profile. Um, so that's the one thing I will say is Ed Oliver, pencil his name in if you don't know who he is. Figure him out if you haven't watched his film yet. Watch his film. I don't care that he's not eligible yet. <laughs> Watch his film because this is definitely a guy that I think in the future uh, has a very, very good shot of becoming a multiple All-Pro to multiple Pro Bowl player based on how he's been producing so far. And I think if he keeps this up, even if he doesn't have that great of a junior season, you know, if he goes into the combine and tests like I think he's going to test and does everything that he needs to do, then this could be uh, someone that could have a very, very, very bright future in the NFL uh, for time to come. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.